Welcome to the world of What's Happening, a beloved 1976 TV series that has left an indelible mark on the industry. Its enduring qualities make it a timeless symbol, capturing the essence of an era and resonating with audiences across generations. Have you ever wondered what makes this show stand the test of time? Whether you experienced the laughs, friendships, and trials of Raj, Dwayne, and were run during its original run or stumbled upon it later, the series has a unique charm that transcends its initial airing. The question arises, when was the first time you watched this TV series? Did it leave a lasting impression on you? As we delve into random facts about the show, consider your most cherished memory or personal experience related to what's happening. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, adding a personal touch to the collective appreciation for this classic series. Setting the stage, did you know that what's happening was based on the film Cooley High and brought a slice of African-American life to mainstream television. The show navigated the challenges of adolescence and family dynamics with humor and authenticity. Its relatable characters and memorable catchphrases have etched themselves into the cultural tapestry. So, whether you're revisiting the series or discovering it for the first time, share your thoughts and join the conversation. What's your favorite episode or character? What makes what's happening special to you? Your insights contribute to the ongoing legacy of this iconic show. We're eager to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share the laughter, the lessons, and the moments that made what's happening. A cherished part of your television history. What's Happening was a groundbreaking sitcom that premiered in 1976, revolving around the lives of the Thomas family residing on South Central Avenue. Notably, it shared the same street as Fred and Lamont on Sanford and Son. The show gained historical significance as the first sitcom centered on black teenagers, a rarity in its time. Remarkably, What's Happening achieved substantial success by cracking the Nielsen Top 30 ratings during its run. This was no small feat, considering it was one of the few sitcoms of its kind to achieve such widespread viewership. However, the road to success was not without bumps. During the second season, actors Fred Berry and Ernest Thomas walked off the show, advocating for improved pay and better dressing rooms. Their demands were met, but after the third season, Berry and Thomas, joined by Haywood Nelson, initiated another walkout. Despite the show ranking 29th in the 1978-79 season, ABC opted to cancel it rather than accede to their demands. The series, while groundbreaking, faced internal challenges that ultimately led to its cancellation, showcasing the complex dynamics of the television industry during that era. And that's what's happening. A show that not only made television history, but also faced the realities of behind-the-scenes negotiations, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of 1970s television. In 1976, What's Happening? made its mark as a groundbreaking sitcom, breaking new ground by focusing on the lives of black teenagers, a rarity in its time. Achieving substantial success, it cracked the Nielsen Top 30 ratings during its run, a notable accomplishment for a show of its kind. However, the series faced internal challenges. During the second season, actors Fred Berry and Ernest Thomas advocated for improved pay and better dressing rooms, a move that led to their demands being met. Yet, after the third season, Barry and Thomas, joined by Haywood Nelson, initiated another walkout. Despite the show ranking 29th in the 1978-79 season, ABC opted to cancel it rather than accede to their demands. Beyond the on-screen successes and setbacks, the cast faced personal struggles. Danielle Spencer, who played Dee Thomas, experienced a tragic car accident in 1977, resulting in lasting injuries. Her return to the show involved changes to her hairstyle and scenes to accommodate her physical limitations. The impact of this incident resonated over the years, leading to further health complications. Additionally, behind the scenes, tensions arose over the portrayal of the Thomas family. Mabel King, who portrayed Mabel Thomas, advocated for the family to have both a mother and a father on the show. The producer's refusal, along with other concerns, led to King quitting her role in 1978, highlighting the complexities of the television industry during that era. In essence, what's happening? not only made television history, but also faced challenges that went beyond the screen, providing a glimpse into the intricacies of the entertainment industry during the 1970s. 
amidst the success of the 1976 TV series What's Happening. Behind the scenes conflicts added a layer of complexity to its production. Notably, during the third season, Fred Berry, a key cast member, threatened to strike. His absence in the episode What's Happening. D, the cheerleader initiated a tense standoff, with Ernest Thomas later joining Barry's call for a pay raise. This clash with executive producers ultimately led to the cancellation of the series, showcasing the impactful consequences of contract disputes within the entertainment industry. Furthermore, this wasn't Barry's only standoff for better compensation. In the later reboot sequel series, What's Happening Now? Barry again struck for a pay raise, leading to his eventual exclusion from the series in season two. These instances highlight the challenges faced by actors seeking fair remuneration and the consequential impact on the fate of a beloved TV show. The financial disputes weren't confined to the cast alone. Eric Monty, the series creator, took legal action against the producers, alleging he was denied proper credit. His lawsuit claimed a breach of promise for a producer credit and sought acknowledgement for the show's inspiration from the film Cooley High. The matter was settled out of court, shedding light on the behind-the-scenes legal battles that could affect the recognition and compensation of key contributors to a show's success, and exploring the complexities of what's happening. From on-screen entertainment to off-screen negotiations, it becomes evident that the series, while making television history, grappled with internal conflicts that significantly shaped its trajectory. Haywood Nelson's consistent presence in every episode of the 1976 TV series What's Happening sets him apart from his castmates. While Ernest Thomas and Danielle Spencer share the same episode credits as Nelson, each faced at least one absence despite being credited. This unique dynamic adds an interesting layer to the show's production, showcasing Nelson's unwavering commitment. The reliability of Nelson contrasts with the behind-the-scenes conflicts that plagued the series, including cast walkouts and financial disputes. This fact about Nelson's unbroken streak in the show prompts a closer look at the dynamics within the cast and production team. Stay tuned for more insights into the complexities that shape the trajectory of what's happening during its groundbreaking run. As we bid adieu to the vibrant world of what's happening, let the echoes of laughter and life lessons linger in your mind. As we take this nostalgic stroll down memory lane, your unique connection with this timeless TV series becomes a tapestry of shared experiences. Whether it's the infectious energy of Raj, Dwayne, and Rerun or the relatable moments that tugged at your heartstrings, what's happening has woven itself into the fabric of our lives. Now, it's your turn to share the chapters of your personal saga with what's happening. What scenes made you laugh till your sides hurt? Which character could you relate to the most? Was it the unforgettable catchphrases, the funky dance moves, or the universal themes that struck a chord with you? Your reflections are the missing pieces that complete the puzzle of this iconic show's legacy. So, let the keyboard be your canvas or the camera your confidant. Share your fondest memories, your profound thoughts, or even the lessons that still resonate with you today. In this digital age, let's create a virtual time capsule of what's happening. Stories reminding us all that, no matter where life takes us, these moments are forever etched in the tapestry of our shared cultural history. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic journey with us. Your time and interest in reliving the magic of what's happening are truly appreciated. Until we meet again in the realm of reminiscence, keep those memories alive and keep the laughter echoing.